welcome to the Really Wild Wildlife Quiz. I'm your host, Robin Simpson, and today we're going to be testing your knowledge on all things wild. So put your thinking caps on, because some of these questions are quite tricky. Okay, without further ado, let's crack on. Now, question one. Mayflies are one of the shortest lived creatures on Earth. When they emerge from their larva state and fly, they only live for around one day. Most female mayflies only live for five minutes. They live for such a short amount of time, they don't even have mouths. Well, if you only live for a matter of minutes, there's no point stopping to eat anything. So question one is, what animal lives the longest? What animal lives the longest? Is it A, an elephant? Is it B, a tortoise? Is it C, a jellyfish? Or is it D, a lion? Is it an elephant, a tortoise, a jellyfish, or a lion? Do you think you have it? The answer is... A jellyfish. One particular jellyfish, in fact. It's called the immortal jellyfish. It can live forever. It regenerates. It can do this at any time of its life by transforming back into a baby jellyfish and starting its life all over again. Can you imagine doing that? Oh, I don't like being old anymore. That's better! It's a bit like the story of the mythical phoenix, a bird that can transform itself into a chick in order to live forever. The immortal jellyfish can still be killed by being eaten, for example, but otherwise it can live forever. Right, next question. Uh, let's talk about size. Question two. Some of the dinosaurs got very big, didn't they? But the largest animal to ever live, ever, is alive today. So question two is, what is the biggest animal? Is it A, a whale? Is it B, an elephant? Is it C, a giraffe? Or is it D, a tiger? And the answer is, it's a whale, a blue whale. A blue whale is huge. It's far bigger than any dinosaur. The largest animal to walk on land is the African elephant. But a blue whale's tongue is the same size as an elephant. In fact, the whole whale is the same size as 25 elephants. That's an entire herd. Right, next. There are one million ants on this planet for every human being. That's a lot of ants. But there are three places on Earth you will never find a single ant. And they are Iceland, Greenland and Antarctica. Ants never sleep. So question three is, what animal can sleep for three years? Is it A, a sloth? Is it B, a bear? Is it C, a hedgehog? Or is it D, a snail? Is it a sloth, a bear, a hedgehog or a snail? And the answer is... A snail! Snails need moisture to survive, and if the weather's very hot for a long period of time, a snail can hide in its shell and hibernate for three years, if need be, until the rains return. Now, if this happens, the snail would have been asleep for a third of its life. <laughs> oh, hello. Now, we share 98.8% of our DNA with our closest animal cousin, don't we? <laughs> DNA is in our cells and is the material that carries all the information about how a living thing will look and function. So if we're only 1.2% different to a chimpanzee, how much DNA do we share with a slug? Is it A. 1% B. 70% C. 23% or D. 13%. The answer is B, 
Seventy percent. Yes, we are seventy percent slug. But to put that in perspective, we also share sixty percent of our DNA with a banana. <coughs> this is the inland taipan, the most venomous animal on earth. One bite from this snake can kill you one hundred times. Now it is luckily quite shy and not very aggressive. It also lives in the middle of Australia, in the desert, so it doesn't often bump into humans. There is an animal much more dangerous than this snake, however. So question four is... What is the most dangerous animal on the planet? Is it A. A hippopotamus? Is it B. A lion? Is it C, a crocodile, or is it D, a mosquito? Did you guess? The answer, of course, is a mosquito. This little biting insect is no harm to us here in the UK, but in places like Africa, they carry diseases such as malaria, and they pass the disease on through their bites. Mosquitoes kill around one million people every year. So the most deadly animal on this planet is not a shark or a snake, but a tiny mosquito. Right, are you ready for the final question? Good, here goes. It's a bit of a trick question, this. Question five. What color is a polar bear's fur? Is it A, black? Is it B, colourless? Is it C, grey? Or is it D, white? Now remember, this is a trick question. The answer is probably not the one you expect. The answer is... B, colourless. Well, it's a bit like my hair here at the sides. It's going grey because I'm getting old. But actually, it's not going grey, really. It's losing all of its colour and is going colourless. Like glass, it's see-through. And it's the same with a polar bear's fur. A polar bear has black skin. And you can see that its nose and inside its ears and the bottom of its paws are black. If you shaved a polar bear, which is not advisable, by the way, you would see that its skin is black all over, all the better to soak up the warmth from the sun. But its fur is see-through. It only looks white because of the way the light shines through it. So there you go. A polar bear isn't white. It is see-through, like glass. And that's the end of the really wild wildlife quiz. Thanks for taking part. I'll see you again. Bye-bye. Oh, <laughs> oh,